Hey everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Arts Studio. And uh, let me pull away and get the pie plate out of the way so that you can see what I'm working on. It is this cute little stylized cat. There, you can see him better. Um, I gotta be frank with you. I have done this start to finish. Um, I designed the cat in AI. Let me just say, I will do a whole video on how to work with AI, but let me cut to the chase and just say, it's very hit and miss. Um, you know, I almost would rather teach myself how to draw, except that I can't draw. So I'm forced to go to other sources to get my designs, but I got lucky with this one. And like I said, AI is a whole nother topic for a whole nother video. But the real reason um, I want to focus in on this one, and I'll show you bits and pieces, is that I'm using the Purely Pigments mixed with Fabric Medium. And I just want to do a quick demo as to why I really, really like them. So I, I want to focus in on the orange that I've already colored. And I'll, I'll, I'll have to find something where I can compare this to. Um, as I'm sitting here talking and realizing that this is going to be kind of hard if you don't see a side-by-side. -side. So I'll do this first half and then the second half will be um, using something like a dye or an ink so that you can see why I love these things so much. Now I made up some little bottles, some little samples here. This is the one I'm using right here. This was a combination of my papaya. I think it was four drops my papaya and one drop Aztec yellow. Um, you can go to colorart.com and look at their stuff and see what color colors these are, but just take my word for it. And what I did was mix it directly with my already prepared fabric medium. So, and it was really just to kind of test some colors out. I wasn't really interested in the actual result of the paint, but I'm so thrilled with what I see that I felt like I needed to make a video of it. So I'm gonna just quickly demo this here real quick. Let me get this over here and just dip my brush. First of all, I use, a, 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 now I use a an electric shaker so I can get the mixture really, really good. And I'm just gonna start painting this on. Now, with anything that has an ink base or a, um, even the ink tense pencil base, uh, it, it, it just simply does not go on this smooth. Uh, there's no bleeding really. Now, of course, grant you, I, I realize that has a lot to do with my fabric medium, but Color Arts pigments are as pure a pigment as you can possibly get. And I think that's what I'm seeing here, is that the pure pigment doesn't have any other kind of binder in it that might conflict with the fabric, meaning that it would stop suddenly. And like I said, I'll have to just do another demo so you can understand where I'm coming from this. But this stuff is just going on so cotton pick and smooth. Uh, I am, I am extremely happy. Um, so this is short and sweet, and I'll 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 do part two, um, but only after I sit here and play with this cat and finish him. This cat will be. I'm gonna try to start selling some of my digital patterns, but to be frank with you. With everything else that's going on, that might be a bit tough, but he will, or it, will be turned into an embroidery stitch out. That's what you're looking at right now. But I will also end up creating the DTF transfers. I have decided that um, based on the success that I've had this week selling the DTF transfers, I'm going to offer my patterns in both embroidery and DTF. So stay tuned. Okay, uh, I wanted to try to put into words why, I, why I'm just ecstatic with this. Um, I'm, I'm gonna zoom in here. 
and hopefully the, the focus will work. I, I have the biggest issue with focus. So I, I want to just lay the color down. Then let's see if I can get this. Let's see if I go, ah, there we go. Oh, perfect. There's no bleeding. Now this is pure pigment and my fabric medium, but there's no bleeding. Let me get back out a bit. There we go. Um, also, let's say I come over here and I put more down, okay? Now I come over here and I put more down over here. Now, you'll see this when I do the part two of this. Um, if I were to try to join all these together with anything else, you're going to get this shadowing effect or you're going to see lines or you're going to see brush strokes and it's not going to be even but y'all this is coloring so even that that's why i started this video because i'm looking at this cat going wow is it really this smooth is it really this uniform and this up here is beginning to dry. Well, it's still damp. Um, I don't have any on my fingers, but I can still feel it. But there's no streaking. There's no color shadowing. Um, Woohoo. Uh, this is very unusual. And I'm not sure why, okay? So, so even though I'm showing you this... Um, I, I just got to say, I think it's the, the just the absolute purest of pigments mixed in with a fabric medium. Um, having said this, I, like I said, I'll show you the, the flip side, but I think I'm also going to try out the fabric mediums and see if it works just as well. Okay, so I think I can prove what I'm trying to say here. Um, most of the cat has been painted uh, with the purely pigment mixture and my fabric medium. But now what I'm doing is I'm switching over to an ink tense pencil and I'm, I'm getting a little bit on the edge wet and then I'm coming in and putting some purple down. Now I'm going to dip my brush into the fabric medium. But I want you to see, sorry, I want you to see what happens. It picks up the color, but do you see what a stark line it leaves here? Um, that's what I'm talking about. Um, the blue above, that's purely pigment. You see no coloration, uh, same with these little green dots, although they're so small, I don't think you can make any difference. But my point is with things that are dyes um, or anything else that stains. Um, and I'm just figuring this all out. I really think that the pigments are going to offer, when blended with fabric medium, a more uniform color than this. Now, don't worry. I mean, I, I'm just going to dip my brush in the fabric medium get a little bit more from the pencil, come in here and start blending. And I can eventually blend that out. I mean, that's that's what I teach in class, you know, and everybody gets very, very good at it. And so it's not a big deal. But if you need a very uniform color, um, I really think these pigments are going to end up being the way to go. So that's it. Just wanted to show you again some of the, the cool things that I'm discovering about these pigments, as well as to give you kind of an alternative and what it looks like versus some of the other tools that I have been using on a regular basis. And don't get me wrong, not going to give up ink tense pencils. Wouldn't do that because they're some of my best go-tos. Uh, for just basic coloring, for shading, et cetera, et cetera. But to get pure straight color in a large area like this, 
I may have found an alternative that will work great. So as always, thanks for watching.